how do you prepare interviews or transition your career? Um, so I don't have enough time to go into a lot of technical details. And sometimes people ask me on LinkedIn, how do you, what, what should I study? Again, um, it's, I would say if you, like I said, what's the most important thing as a data scientist? Problem solving skills, right? And if you can't even solve this problem about what skills you want to learn and you ask some random people on LinkedIn without doing research, maybe you're not ready to be a data scientist yet. You need to do research on your own. Um, but like what I said, first, you need to understand what type of data scientist you want to be, right? And then because Every type of data scientist requires different type of skills. Do you want to be a specialist? Do you want to be a, a generalist? Um, and do you have a degree, PhD degree? What type of background you have? So you need to first um, think, think, it, think about it on your own to understand your own background and then map that to the job postings. And what I always suggest is how do you find the right skill to study? Um, I, if you ask somebody have a, if you even ask a data scientist, this data scientist might be in a very specific field and they might not give you the best uh, advice. So what I suggest is you, just like what I did, you go to LinkedIn or Indeed, whatever job site, just search for the data scientist job. And then um, with the, the type of data scientist in mind, and then you just do some research on that look at 10, uh, 20 jobs and then see what are the common word they use. Uh, because for, again, using the example of a product and that is A-B testing, you constantly see experiment design, uh, products, metrics, and the SQL. And then you know those are the things you are going to learn. So job postings are the best place for you to learn, for you to decide what you want to learn, how to prepare. And there are various sites where various sites where people share their interview experience. Some people post things on um, Glassdoor or even, <coughs> excuse me, or even Reddit, you see um, some people's interview experience. But again, you need to know other people's experience can be very, very biased. Um, a lot of people would complain about the interview experience because if you get a job, you don't usually post online, hey, I got a job, it's great. My interview is so, so great. Most people just go there uh, to, uh, to complain about things. So don't get frustrated. Um, and then also if you uh, want to ask somebody for, for the experience, make sure this person have the same background as the job uh, like you're looking for. And uh, also there is like no good or bad type of data scientist. It all depends on your, your, your background and your interests. Uh, some people say, what type of in data science should I be? Um, I don't know. It, it depends on you, what you're interested in, right? Uh, someone just shared uh, something on the chat to say the world, word.net can quickly determine common keywords uh, from Sylvia. Uh, thanks for sharing. I haven't used that. Um, I haven't used that, but uh, you guys can check it out. Um, so the second thing is um, you will, s I, I always advise people to apply. And if you follow my recent uh, LinkedIn post, I mentioned something is analogy, right? You don't start to date people the moment you decided to get married. That's too late, same thing. You don't just start to apply for jobs when you want to have a job. Um, especially, especially when you don't know what you want, whether you're a good fit. Some people send me their resume, ask me, oh, am I a good fit for the job? Again, I really want to help you, but I don't know. You need to ask, you need to apply. The only way to find out whether you're a good fit is to apply. But I understand why we don't want to apply. First of all, it's a lot of work. You have to change your you know, resume and it is work, right? Um, and a second, we're afraid of the feeling of being rejected. We know if we're not ready, um, you it kind of hurt our ego. But if you think from the other side, there's nothing really uh, hurting you. Um, even if you get a rejection, then that's uh, the feedback from the real world that uh, maybe your resume isn't good enough or maybe you haven't learned enough to, um, to get this job. 
and then um, just use interview. So when you are learning, when you're slowly finding your interest, don't think about interview as as uh, something once for all. Or you apply for five jobs, you 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 get hired. Think of interview as a process of purely getting feedback. Just assume that you get rejected. So what? Right? You don't you don't um, get hurt, but Again, don't apply for uh, your dream job because uh, some big companies, I know at least for, I think for Facebook, if you failed or if you did really poor, they might freeze your resume. So you can test some small, medium company uh, just to see, uh, talk to recruiters or even uh, to see what questions they're asking, right? Usually they would just ask it, you to introduce yourself and maybe you didn't even prepare a good introduction on your past project and then they will ask your previous experience maybe those are the things you didn't really prepare you are only focusing on the technical skills so there are a lot of things um, on the uh, about interviews you only learn when you actually have interviews so i encourage you to interview early and also uh, some people will get nervous and those feelings, those experiences will never um, go away unless you, you practice. Um, so yeah, just accept that you might get rejected and then um, think, think of it as a way to help you succeed and then have a, a type of uh, positive mindset. And some people will see uh, on the job postings, they, they, they want you to have uh, say three, five year experience and then um, that can be quite intimidating. So um, what I suggest is, again, everybody's experience is different. So if you are a PhD student or a master's student, although you don't have industry experience, but if your research or your coursework is very close to this job post, then you might have more experience than other type of data scientists who never worked on this field. And you can think of your research in grad school, in uh, your PhD, or maybe even a college, some type of course uh, project as your experience. So I would say as long as you finish a project from the beginning to very end, from data collection to in the end, evaluating the model, making decisions, you can consider those as uh, experience. Um, now, I'm, I'm not suggesting we should brag about experience and never lie about experience, but sometimes we, we need to give ourselves a little bit more credit uh, when we think about experiences. Uh, and I think even my, even my first job asked for maybe two to five years of experience because they just want to put it out there because why not to have someone more experienced. Uh, and then I had the master and then my, I, my interview was good. So I was, I was hired. So from the hindsight, if I get intimidated by that, and I, I may not have the opportunity to get a job. But if something says, oh, I have experience on, on lead a large project or, uh, five to 10 year experience, then maybe um, it's not worth it to, to uh, apply. But uh, you never know. Um, if that's your dream job, you can try it. Um, and if you just started to interview for data science, like I said in the beginning, it's a very broad field. You're, not, you're probably not going to be able to know everything. And uh, again, the, the hiring manager, if you think about what managers want, they want to hire this person to solve a specific type of problem on their team. So they're um, looking for this person to have a, a set of skills. So they're not looking for someone who knows everything. Uh, so it's okay, you don't need, you don't know everything. And then, uh, but you have to know the foundational skills. For example, uh, if you are a data science, uh, you want to interview for a data science uh, general, generalist, uh, type of role, and then you need to know, um, at least you need to know some regression, right? How to evaluate a, a model. Um, uh, I'm just giving an example. Again, I, su I strongly suggest everyone to do your own research to find out uh, what, what is important for a specific job. And then if you don't know everything, uh, you know, it's very easy for interviewer to see whether you're lying. Don't, I, I have experience uh, if someone don't know what I'm talking about or don't know, they just uh, start to talk about something else. And then, you know, it's obvious, other people can tell. If you don't know, uh, 
do not just say you don't have experience on that and then say, uh, but you can learn, you can learn something. And uh, um, but if this interviewer, if your interviewer have seen you demonstrated good foundational knowledge and think you can learn, uh, then they might still, uh, they might still hire you. Uh, just be, uh, be honest. Um, and then if you don't understand, ask them to repeat a question and it's also totally normal. Um, and uh, if you uh, have a LinkedIn account, I strongly encourage you to have a LinkedIn account. I found my first job um, and also my second job in Amazon from LinkedIn because re recruiters uh, reach out to me. So uh, if you're, uh, I think they found, the Amazon recruiter found me because my first job title was business intelligence data analyst and they were looking for a business intelligence engineer. So the title matches, uh, I think it's as important at that time. Um, so I also, you know, put down some keywords of the project you're currently working on and then um, don't just put, put down a title uh, and then it will be easier for them to find you. And also, if you're looking for, if you found some recruiters posting a job, um, and if you want to message them, it's also easier for them to look at your experiences if you you have something there, right? And also, I think right now, LinkedIn support the function that you can upload your, your resume there. So it's also easier for people to find. Uh, I would say if you want to reach out to people on LinkedIn, reach out to the people who actually post jobs or especially recruiters. Um, a lot of people send their resume to me, um, but you know, I'm not hiring anybody. I'm a data scientist on the team. It's, it's not helpful for, to send a resume to me. Network with recruiters. Um, and also um, if you like, um, I would say I would encourage everybody to try and think big, but it's also, not very likely for someone don't know you to uh, recommend you, right? I wouldn't say you you definitely shouldn't do that, but at least for me, if I don't know you professionally, I would feel um, that's not very responsible for me and also for you and also for my company if I refer somebody I don't even know. Um, so talking to recruiters are uh, more productive in this way. And uh, if you are, if you want to uh, transition your career, uh, I think someone also asked about something from uh, Mo, uh, asked something about transition switching um, career to data scientist. Uh, sorry, I'm just gonna read the chat a little bit. Yeah, so um, if, you, um, if, you, if your team um, have data scientists or if your company have data scientists, it's easier for you to do the transition within your company. But if, if it's very different, maybe you need to um, look outside. You need to um, go back to school or get a certificate or uh, do some type of internship. Mm, that's a little bit, um, I think you might need to take more time if you come from a completely different career. So here what I'm talking about is I, I believe most of you here are already uh, in school or uh, doing some type of data science role. So instead of looking outside, the best way to do it is uh, within your team. Um, because first of all, um, your manager already trusts you. So and this is have a condition, right? You have to perform well on your current role. And uh, if your company has some data, I'm sure a lot of companies now value data science more and more. They always have something on the backlog, some type of analysis they want to do, but never got a chance to take a look. And here you can propose to your manager to see if your managers have something they want to look at. Again, this is tied back to the previous point when I mentioned the business value, right? So if you, are, you want to transition to a different career, um, although your being a data scientist can add value to your company, but during the transition phase, you need help from your team, from your manager or from your company. And uh, 
it's easier that you're also providing value to them. So try to see if um, there's any uh, low hanging fruit uh, data science related project that can add business value that's tied to the goal of your team. And then take on those projects as side project while you are um, working on your current role. And then uh, make sure you finish this project and then have some type of uh, models or analysis that actually improve the processes or the business. So actually provide value. And then at that time you can talk to your manager uh, to see if your manager can help you transition from say an engineer or a business analyst to a data scientist. And if you have, um, it's, it's better if you, your team already have other uh, data scientists, you can see if you, you can help them with some project. Again, start from adding value. Uh, maybe they won't um, let you to do those fun part like modeling with them. Um, you can just start with say, hey, can I help you build some pipeline? Uh, can I help you do some exploratory data analysis or do some type of uh, industry research? And once you're familiar with the project later on, you can see uh, whether you can um, learn about some modeling from them because you always want to try different there in data science project there are always so many things to try and then once you're familiar uh, once you're familiar with the project and then you earn trust from your co-workers then maybe you can also um, get to learn some modeling a little bit and then it's good you you collaborate with the data scientists on your team um, and then if you need to transition to a data science job role, they can also voucher for you. They can uh, prove that you already have good data science knowledge and then actually works on a project. Um, and then another important thing is to don't just secretly work on the project. Always transparent and communicate with a manager. I have mentored uh, some other uh, analysts working Amazon and think in in the beginning they are maybe they're scared they don't know whether their manager will approve it or not you you never know um, uh, a lot of them after they talk to me they talk to their manager they, they most of the people I talk to actually got um, support from their manager and then to take on some uh, pet projects well this doesn't guarantee they will eventually switch you to a data science role, but at least you, you will have experience. So this is uh, something uh, you should do if you um, want to transition to from a different role to a data center, look inward and then get support from a manager and start with a project that will add value to your team.